What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? It's your boy, Matty Ice Leads for Locals. Got an awesome, awesome video for you today. Go High Level has rolled out some really cool new features. And uh, instead of just showing you what those features are, I want to show you how to put it into just an epic automation that's going to help you make more sales. This is, some, this is a great thing to do for your clients as well. If you're an agency owner and you have clients that make sales online, you're using the order forms and stuff like that, you are definitely going to want to stick to the end of this video because I'm going to show you step-by-step how to use the new video tracking feature. The, uh, uh, we're also going to use trigger links and then use coupon codes. So if someone clicks on an order form or they watch a certain percentage of, a, of like a sales video or a demo video or whatever, this uh, will have the system wait a certain period of time to check and see if the sale has been made. And then we can actually send them a coupon code to you know hopefully close that sale. Maybe do like 10 15%, 20% discount, whatever for the next 24 hours. And, uh, you know, hopefully that pushes them over the edge and makes the sale, right? So this is, this, this is the type of automation that can really help you increase your conversions, guys. So uh, make sure you stick to the end. Um, if you guys like this type of content and you find it helpful, uh, if you don't mind, so, you know, for, to help support the, the channel, uh, just do me a favor, hit that like button. It really does help. Maybe share this with a couple of your entrepreneur friends. Uh, because this is the kind of stuff that can really help take somebody's business to the next level. These simple automations just are so freaking powerful. So uh, make sure you share this. Uh, check out all the links in the description. I always have good additional training for you guys there. And uh, again, if you want to support the channel, uh, I have an affiliate link for Go High Level. So if you don't have it yet, I would really, really appreciate your support. Got a two-week free trial in the description. Uh, really appreciate it, guys. All right, let's dive into how to set this up. So the first thing that we want to do is get the coupon code created. All right, and uh, it's going to be a code that we are going to automatically email and text the person if they haven't purchased within a certain time uh, time frame. All right, so we want to go to payments. And uh, actually, before we do coupon codes, you do need to make sure you have your product already created. I'm going to assume that if you're interested in doing coupon codes, you already have products made, but if not, just go to products, create new product, give it a name, price, whatever, right? So for example, my six figure SaaS agency university, I sell that for 497 right now. Uh, that's a product inside of my funnel shows up on the order form, right? So you do have to make sure that your products are already created. Okay. From there, let's click on coupons. Uh, let's create coupon here. Very easy to do. I uh, will just give it a name. Uh, let's see, test one, two, three, four. All right, what's the coupon code that you want to send people? Uh, you can also generate a random coupon code here if you want. I would say just type one in really quick, whatever the name of your product is or a, a, an abbreviation for it, you know, ALGM 10, whatever, all right? Coupon type, uh, you can do percentage. So if you want to do 20% off or you can do a fixed amount as well, maybe $50 off, $100 off, it's up to you. All right, start date, uh, we'll do it immediately. Uh, I'm just going to do immediately for this example. Again, maybe you're doing like a black, uh, wow. black Friday special, you know, Cyber Monday kind of stuff, whatever. Then you can set it for a certain date. You can also limit the time frame. So again, if you, if you, if someone clicks on the link, they watch a certain amount of the video, whatever, and they haven't purchased, maybe we do that discount code for like 24 hours. Like, hey, purchase within the next 24 hours and you get 20% off, something like that. In that case, you would put, uh, you could, um, actually, you know what? The end date uh, probably wouldn't work. But um, anyways, uh, like this is something that we wanna kind of run on uh, autopilot for a very long time anyways. Um, but you could do this for certain, certain dates if you want. All right, so uh, we are gonna limit the total number of times that this can be redeemed. And then we're gonna also limit this to selected products if you have a lot of different products and you just want to apply to all of your products, then you don't check this. But if you're creating a certain uh, discount code or a, a code for a very specific product, we need to select this. I'm going to use my six figure SaaS agency as an example. If you guys are SaaS agency owners, I got a free masterclass down below and um, uh, just came out with my SaaS agency university. Just how I built a six figure SaaS agency. It's my exact roadmap. You guys want to check that out. Anyways, uh, we got the coupon. All right, we're good there. Next, we're going to go to sites. I want to show you, uh, so we have to enable coupons on the order form. So let me find this, uh, my SaaS agency one here. Uh, we just have to enable it. That, that's literally all we do. And basically what it does is it, it just brings up on this uh, order form a, a, a field to apply or like type in the coupon code. That's really that's really all it is. So it's very it's very easy to enable. 
And uh, also, again, you know, within your funnel here, make sure that your products are set up. Okay, uh, I'm going to assume that you already have that done. All right, so let's open this up. We are going to go to the order form element and then click on advanced. And that's where we're going to enable the coupon codes. And I'll show you guys what it looks like as well. And then we'll get these uh, automations in place. Also show you the, uh, the video tracking as well while we're here. So let's do a pop. I think, yeah, I got my order form on the pop up. So we're going to click the order form, click on advanced and scroll down until you see enable coupon codes right there. That's literally all you have to do. And then when they get to the second stage here or the second step, it's going to be, there's going to be a field that says apply coupon code. They type it in, they get the discount. That's, that's all you have to do. Now, let me show you really quick, the video tracking, uh, if you want to use that. So this is, this is so awesome guys. Uh, like I have a lot of, uh, free demos that I offer for most of my courses, SaaS products, all that good stuff. Right. So we can send, uh, we, we can create an automation based on the amount of the, like the percentage of the video that they have watched. So if they watch a certain percentage, we can create all different kinds of automations based on that. Right. Really, really cool. Now, um, in order to do that, uh, click on the video element, we're going to scroll down. And right here, the video type. So instead of using like a YouTube URL, I used to use custom embeds, uh, custom embed codes. Uh, like I use Loom to create all my videos and I would just embed the video right on the page. But now I have it on hosted video. And when you do that, you're going to upload the video into your media library, <clears throat> which it'll, it'll prompt you to do. You upload it, double click it, and it puts the video right on the page and you're good to go. That is what allows you to use the, the, the video tracking feature uh, when we uh, put this automation in place. So um, let's actually go ahead and start setting up the automation. And we're going to go through a couple of different workflow triggers. And uh, actually, I should say just real quick uh, for because <coughs> um, I think this is like these coupon codes when we're putting automations in place, I think the like uh, if you don't have video, uh, maybe you don't, you don't use a ton of video using trigger links, email trigger links uh, can be a great way to trigger this automation. So um, right here under trigger links, you just go to links and it's just email or trigger links are very easy guys. Um, just add link, paste in the URL, just give it a name. And then again, um, in your email marketing, uh, anytime somebody clicks that link or really any type of marketing, but anytime somebody clicks that link, it's going to trigger this uh, workflow that we're going to put together. So make sure you're creating your trigger links there. All right. Once we have that set up, let's go to automation, create new workflow, let's start from scratch here. All right, go ahead and give it a name, whatever's going to help you stay organized. Workflow trigger. I'll show you the trigger links really quick. So it's going to be trigger link clicked, add filter, and you're just going to select that trigger link you just created. All right, so when somebody clicks a link to go to your order form or your demo page, whatever, to watch a video or consume some content, you can now create an automation for this. All right, and then the other work. Now, I would not combine these two. I'm just showing you what the workflow triggers are. So uh, the other one, video tracking right here. This is so cool. Add filter. We're going to select a video that we uploaded. Come on. Here we go. So video is going to be as any of, we'll just do, yeah, Six Figure SaaS Agency University demo. And I want this to send after they watch, let's say, I'm going to choose greater than or equal to, let's do 50%, all right? So they, they watch 50% of my demo. I, I want the, the workflow to trigger. Now, again, I, I would do two separate workflows for these triggers, guys. Don't come, I, I wouldn't recommend combining these. Um, I just want to show you how to use them. All right. Now, so the, uh, we, we have this trigger. All right. How much time do we want to wait in order to send these automations? Well, that's really up to you and how you want to do it. But um, how we're going to set it up is we're going to click the plus sign. We're going to click wait. And let's do 24 hours as an example. All right. So we're going to give them 24 hours to purchase after they click the link or after they watch the video for a certain period of time or a certain percentage of the video. All right. So let's do one day. All right. And then we're going to click the plus sign again and we're going to go to uh, if else. We're going to use the if else condition here and we'll do. Um, Oh, they added video tracking for this too. That is just epic. I'm, I'm going to have to do a separate video on that. That's crazy. Um, anyways, contact details. Um, I usually like to use tags for this. 
Um, you can also do, uh, if I remember correctly, you can use opportunity stages now, I think. Let's see, please. Um, oh, I guess that, that has to be a workflow trigger. Um, anyways, um, you should be using tags for whenever people purchase, right? So you'll have a tag purchased XYZ product so that, you know, you can create um, lists and, you know, you can search for them and stuff like that. So I usually like to use tags for this. So let's go to contact details. We'll click tags, find your purchase tag. So it includes, let's see. We have it named purchase. Yeah, here we go. Purchased. All right, there we go. Purchase six figure SaaS agency. Okay, includes that tag, which means they purchased, which means we don't need to offer a discount code, right? That wouldn't make any sense. So if they've purchased, then we don't do anything. We just leave it. Or you could, you know, maybe, um, maybe you do offer a coupon code for a different product as a thank you. So hey, you know, I really appreciate you purchasing the SaaS agency university. Here's a 20% discount code for my Facebook ads mastery course as well. Something like that, that can work really good, uh, really good. Now, um, but we're focusing on people that didn't purchase. So if they have not, if they don't have that tag, that means they have not purchased. So right here on this side, we're gonna click the plus sign. This is where we're gonna send the emails and text messages with that discount code, all right? So I'm just gonna do send SMS as an example here. Hey, first name, so we use a custom value. Thanks for checking out my six figure SAS agency university. Um, <clears throat> as a thank you, here's a 20% uh, or a, a hundred dollar off discount code. Uh, in case, uh, in case you're on the fence, something like that, right? And then um, you would type in the, uh, the discount code. So I think I did test one, two, three, four, save action. That's it, all right, we're gonna do the same thing with the emails, okay? I, I would literally do the, the same exact thing, nothing crazy, and then, uh, you know, I might link out, like in the email, I might link out to the, the page. Actually, I'd probably do it in the in the text message as well. And then um, from there, you can, you can actually, um, keep adding to this, you know, it just depends on how long you want it to go out. You can add additional uh, condition actions right here to check to see if they've purchased or if they've responded or something like that. But I'm telling you guys, these little touch points can make such a huge difference when it comes to converting leads into actual clients and customers. It's, it's not much more complicated than what I just showed you guys. You just have to have the right thing set up. So using these two different types of workflow triggers, you know, if you're not using video, I highly recommend that you do it, but if you're not, you can you can still take advantage of this by using the trigger link, uh, trigger links, and when people click on that, and then uh, but I, I would use both and, and and kind of expand on these guys because this can be man, this is so powerful. So make sure it's published, make sure it's saved, and that's it. That's that's really all you have to do, guys. So um, drop uh, drop some comments down below if you have any questions or feedback how you're using this. I'd love to hear about how you are implementing these new Go High Level features because they are freaking epic, guys. Um, Go High Level is a tool like anything else. It comes down to how you use it. And when you use it like this, you start putting these things in place, man, it really starts to take your business to the next level. Makes your SaaS product that much more valuable as well. It's just awesome, guys. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Uh, make sure you join the Facebook group. Hit that like button, all that good stuff. Really appreciate it. Hope you're crushing it. Matty Ice is out. See you on the next one.